lot of people think of Winnipeg as a big hockey town. Its jets are back after 16 years in the U.S. Yeah! Let's go! While Winnipeg is a big hockey town, it's also a very French-Canadian city. Across the Red River from the city center, is St. Boniface, one of the most flourishing and historical French-Canadian communities. I decided to check it out. But first, I think I'm gonna need some French lessons. The first one is bonjour. It means hello. Bonjour. You're probably going to want to introduce yourself. So you would say, je m'appelle, and then your name. Je m'appelle Robert. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Mona. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Robert. Comment t'appelles-tu? Bravo, Robert. You're ready to walk around St. Boniface. Okay. <laughs> Louis Riel is a controversial figure of the Canadian frontier. He was hanged as a traitor in 1885, but many today think of him as a hero. Philip Malo is the director of the St. Boniface Museum and also a big collector of Louis Riel memorabilia. St. Boniface Museum has essentially been celebrating Louis Riel since it opened its doors in 1967. This white cap was covering Louis Riel's face when he was actually executed. Here's a guy who was hanged by the Canadian government in 1885. In 1985, they issue a postage stamp with his face on it. The spirit of Louis Riel lives on in Winnipeg. You see him on street signs, statues across the city, even on t-shirts. Look at this. Car. I gotta go with orange. Look at that. It's pretty sharp. I'm seventh generation direct relative of Louis Riel. Chef Justin specializes in traditional Franco-Manitoban cuisine. I was trained in uh, classical French cooking, so I use a lot of the techniques from France and a lot of the ingredients from Manitoba. Would you like to come and see what's in the oven, ready yeah, to go? Let's see it. What we have is our bison ribs with a slight little barbecue sauce. Kofi rabbit leg, which falls off the bone, no fork needed. Well, welcome, and uh, we hope you stay. Thank you. I had no idea rabbit was so good. Bon appétit. For some non-traditional French cuisine, I'm trying a favorite local dish, poutine. Barbecue pulled pork, cheese curds, and then the gravy. Never had poutine, much less a pulled pork poutine. This is a Winnipeg creation. There you go, man. Oh, wow. Is that just for me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The difference is the pulled pork. That's the bet. What do you think about the Jets being back in Winnipeg? I, I'm absolutely thrilled. I scored a last minute ticket to the game. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Go Jets, go. Go Jets, go. Go, go Jets, Jets go. go, baby. Whichever side of the river you're on, there's one refrain that's understood by anyone. Go Jets, go. 